hello friend today i am going to show you how to fix internal server error 500 internal server error there is a few tips i posted on this uh, page but uh, let's try with live testing now i have a subdomain with error 505 internal server error in the title bar you can see 500 internal server error and the page is showing internal server error connect uh, please contact server administrator webmaster at the rate the domain okay so let's we need to access our cpanel okay you can also access via aftp there is no problem let's check http access HTT access in most of the cases WordPress HTT access and the past chance let go to file manager where we can find HTT access the public main root where we can find the HTT file in the public HTML folder in our case it's subdomain so we can find in the subdomain folder let's check public underscore html now this domain is subdomain is project 3 so we are going for click to project 3 there is a HTT access in this HTT access we need to rename that okay so rename to old and now we need to create HTT access file so we just create file icon and dot dot HTT access okay dot HT access so I, I already created now but it, it had it has no data so we need to some a line of code into the HT access file so HTTP to HTTPS redirect page there is a, uh, it's about another issue uh, another configuration but i just uh, get the code from here now we need to click on right click on edit and edit right click and edit and paste the code save the changes it's done let's check reload page yes it's have data line of code so let's check the page yes it's working so if it's not working then we will go for the next option to fix the error in some case uh, after writing ht access file still internal server error it's not going so in this case you can see the error is http error 505 yeah, and pre in the previous case you, you should notice it was the left side corner error. so in this case uh, let's try to refresh okay now same case the same issue now uh, check the code HTT access code is right uh, let me paste again and try it yes you have not made changes so still is the error so in this case we need to check our the second step is in this case we need to fix permission issue uh, let's try to change permission of the folder so we need to uh, again come to the same folder location and uh, need to right click or select three of those folder wp admin wp content wp and go to the permission and check this one this one this one and this one uh, the permission code should be 755 now change permission and let's try again it should working okay
The next step is 3. Increase PHP memory limit in WordPress. You can increase your PHP limit by your hosting provider. You need to contact them to increase your PHP limit. Or in some case, you can try to increase limit by some code. This code is here. So where we need to put this code? Uh, let me show you. You need to go to file manager and the wp wp-config.php and the top of the line you need to put this code and save it by this step you can increase your php limit now going for the fourth step deactivate your plugins in some case the internal server comes from the plugin corrupted or any error on the plugin it can be mismatch it can be mismatch your php version with wordpress plugin so how to deactivate your wordpress plugin if you able to access your wordpress admin panel then it's very easy for you you just go to plugin section and deactivate each plugin and try to open your site is working or not but in some case you cannot access your wp admin it also has the 500 internal server error so in this case you need to go to again file manager and content wp content and plugin section and you need to remove one by one how you could remove or you can just rename the plugin folder like this and it automatically goes deactivated from your panel and let's try to open your site if it's working then it's good if not then go for rename another plugin i hope you understand how to fix internal server error thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel to get notification please press bell icon and share this video with your friends thank you for watching Thank <laughs> you.